<laughs> All right, welcome back to the Vlog on Cool TV, and we have DJ Cuppy in the house. Yes, yes, Hi. yes. Hi. Hello. It's nice to have you here. I, I have to say, I'm having so much fun with you guys. Oh, oh. sorry, I'm I having to ask. Yes. The inauguration party, were yes. you satisfied with your performance? Oh, well, thanks for diving straight in. <laughs> you know, I have to say, with the inauguration, it's mixed feelings. You know, it's really difficult when... Let me tell you what happened. I prepared a lot for it, but... All in all, I was given three minutes to perform, mm. you know, so I was performing and unfortunately it's a live broadcast, mm. there was a lot going on. So in the middle of my performance, you know, someone sort of cut in and was like, thank you, DJ Coffee. Yeah, actually, <laughs> when it was, it just looked like you were starting, I was like... Yeah, yeah and so. then it was over, you know, but so I wasn't happy because I felt like I, I had so much more to give. Mm. And, you know, I really, really wanted to soak in that moment and I had such a great set planned mm. but nonetheless i was really really honored to have that opportunity i was just about to you ask. know it was just such an honor but i have to say i did take it well, i took it pretty enough. harsh yeah. and i was trending on twitter for yeah. did you not see the comments People i did saying, see oh, the comments yeah she got the i did see the comments and you know i think that these are things that are making me um, you know, sort of deal with the environment a bit better. Mm. But I was miserable for like three days. I, wow. I took it very badly. But you have to know Nigerians are haters. When people of are doing course. well, we hate it. <laughs> I know. I'm actually glad you were. You had, you, had, you had the opportunity to clear that because a lot yes. of people might not have known what actually happened behind this. Yeah. That was, you know, that was the first performance people, I was Yeah, people I tune in, they see you, they're like, oh, wow, she's horrible. Yeah. And there's only so much you can do with three minutes, especially mm. when you don't know you. I was about to... But it was like mid song and I was like, oh gosh. So you know what I did? I was like, you know, I was panicking, but I was like, I grabbed my dancers, made sure I bowed and I walked off the stage, mm. you know, but I did the best I could. But that is just the environment I'm in. It's very, very hostile, very, very high pressure. And, you know, I just, I just have to get better and better at it. Mm. Mm -hmm. So would you consider that to be your worst outing or are there other oh, outings? Yeah. Um, it has to be because I was on <laughs> yeah. national television. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I, I, I've never ever, and I, the morning after I was going to LA and like even in the airport, like people were asking me about it. And I think, but you know wow. what? I will happily go through that again, mm. you know, cause you learn from it. Yeah. And you know, I've been doing this for not that long. So I think that it just made me stronger but at the time, I was, I couldn't, I love, I couldn't even eat. Like, I had, like, Amala or Bedidi in front of me. I couldn't eat. I was so miserable. You know, I think I'm my worst critic, for sure. No, but you know what? Looking on the bright side, you shouldn't feel bad because the whole thing itself was actually, like, a social night. So, please, voice, I'm so curious. I don't know, maybe can make her feel better because the other people also performed. It was horrible. So it was possibly the producers wait, it didn't, of the Wait, 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 it didn't look good at the, the end the of the whole show did not look good at really? all. Corey DeBello looked silly, and I've seen him perform. Yeah. Oh, he's such a silly. So so got hit probably as yeah. bad as Oh, no, no, let me just say, <laughs> let me just say, I'm not going to lie, like, I was laughing backstage, but everyone was like, <laughs> and, you know, I've been to all these comedy shows and I'm like, people are not laughing. So I think that that's one of the most difficult mm. gigs to go to. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, all the, all the artists, all of us were there like, good luck, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, so I just think the fact that I came out of it strong and again, just, just having, even the three, even if I had one minute, yeah. it was such an honor. Yeah, so I, I, I will always cherish that moment for the rest of my life. <laughs> Nice, nice one. I mean, I'm going back to how you just won more on that inauguration because I think a lot of people watching and trying to debunk the fact that oh, it was because of your connection. Yes. That's why you got the yeah, gig. So should I how did you feel? Yeah, explain. yeah. And then how did you feel when you got the invitation to come and yes. play at Asawa? So basically, I got a phone call. Um, so you know, with uh, it's so exciting that we've had a very, very amazingly peaceful transition in yeah, democracy. Yeah, sure. You know, I think that's something to celebrate. Yeah. Yes, it um, is. But with our previous um, government, you know, I was appointed a tourism ambassador because I my first record I ever put out was called I Love My Country yeah. and at the time we were preparing for our centenary um, celebrations mm. so they needed a song to be the theme song and you know I met with the Ministry of Culture and Tourism and you know I'm, a, I'm very passionate about Nigeria you know even though I don't live here I'm very much always oh sorry this brings me to the fact that during elections you were not in Nigeria and yeah <laughs> a little flag saying oh Nigeria <laughs> yes okay let me explain this let me let's clear the air clear the air basically do you know it's very hard to be here for elections when the election day changes every yeah. other day yes. yeah. you know and I had a booking in Kenya 
but I, you know, and I still, a lot of people said, why would you put up a picture of a Nigerian flag? Because the reality is that I could not think of anything but home. You know, I couldn't be home, but I was thinking about it. And I was constantly, constantly wishing I could have been there. But they, how many times did they change the date? Twice. Yes. yes. Well, okay, they, See, they look, weren't too sure. But I didn't the first time, and that's why a lot of Nigeria will move on. But yeah. Victoria has to move on yeah. too. But I have to say, the, and you know, I know David O got a lot of. Um, yeah. He was in Basket Kenya as well. Yeah. Was, you know, and the thing is that um, it's amazing that people sort of took it to that level because. Um, it just shows how, and the funny thing is, half the people apparently didn't even vote themselves. Mm. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's a Nigerian thing. I was telling yeah, you. Did you yeah. vote? Titi, did you vote? I honestly didn't even leave my bed. <laughs> yes. And I love my government. You know, I, think, yeah, I couldn't get my PGC. <laughs> so everyone here, apart from me, did, oh, you, I, you did not Fantastic. vote. No, I did not. Oh, oh, oh. were you not on air? <laughs> I was working. I was working. I was working. Well, well yeah, like you said, work better. moves on. You know. Yes. You have you need to, to get away. Yeah. Like the country will be fine, but yo, yeah. I gotta make my money. The country will be fine. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. You okay, don't say that about the country. Let's get back to, the country. Country. <laughs> <laughs> back to the country. Let's stay away from politics. Yeah. <laughs> saying about how okay so you received it you were really excited yes 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 so it was fantastic and you know i think that another you know a big so it was sort of through being a tourism ambassador ambassador with the previous government um and it was also because i think that the brand my, the cuppy brand the female dj it's very very unique and i think that personally it represents a new generation of mm, women yeah. in nigeria yeah. you know and i think that my brand is showing that i'm i'm in the middle of my second degree as degrees uh degree rather wow <laughs> <laughs> It's a blog. <laughs> I also have a moment. It happens. It happens. <laughs> it's a blog. I think we should I'm definitely have a I'm in the middle of my second yes, degree, so. and I'm doing my master's. So basically, I'm trying to show that you know you can be educated, but still have a very, very creative career, yes. and still have a life, and still have fun, and still you know yeah. get on with it. Is your degree online? <laughs> I have to ask. <laughs> My degree, no, it's in New York, New York University. And then you're moving. You have this tour. You have the documentary. Yes, you have people so in our studio. The minute, the minute my uh, my tour is over, I'm straight to school. That's lovely. I, I have to say that it's something very admirable, and Thank it's you. important that you actually share your story because there are other younger girls yeah. who want to mm -hmm. do education what you're first. Doing. And you know, I always tell people that it's not education is not about academics. For me, education gave me a discipline. Mm, so it's yeah. about having priorities, having deadlines. So I'm able to apply that to my own brand. Fantastic. So tell us about your tour. You're going on an eight nation yes, tour. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Countries. I know. I, I, I mean, it kicks off in three days. I don't, I, I don't even know where to start. Starting I'm so, from Nigeria. Starting got to start home starting Yay. from Nigeria so um, you know we're going on tour it's very exciting um, and um, you know we're going to eight countries in Africa it's called Cuppy Takes Africa um, and you know we're kicking off in Nigeria on Saturday I'm so excited and then the tour is gonna go straight to Senegal then Ghana then Kenya then Tanzania then Rwanda then Uganda then South Africa the thought of it just makes me tired. <laughs> <laughs> so is it just going to be you uh, playing your set all through? Well, yeah, no, it's... artists before. Yeah, we have a lot of different artists. So what's great about it, you know, apart from me sort of putting on a show, I'm working with local acts, mm -hmm. um, you know, like for... So in different countries, you're going to be working yes, with different yes. acts. Yes, nice. yes. So I'm excited. In the Nigerian show, you know, we just revealed today our lineup of producers and DJs, which is going to be producers fantastic. Producers and DJs. And so no one has the... ever done that before. Ooh, tell us, who are they? Who are they? Um, okay, so... Okay, there's a lot, so I need to do this <laughs> well. Okay, so we have seven DJs. Yeah. Um, we have um, DJ Case. Okay. We have DJ Obi. Mm -hmm. We have DJ Nana. Mm -hmm. We have DJ Hazan. Um, we have DJ. Um... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, we have um, we have DJ. Okay, let's move on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we'll come back to DJs, <laughs> producers. Yeah. <laughs> we have um, Studio Magic Icon. Lyric, um, legendary beats. Um, we have, oh my gosh, do you know it's like 14 acts? So, in my TV production is not involved. Sorry? We TV, TV production. <laughs> I don't understand. Wait, what are we coming to do? Are we coming to spin? I think, I think, I think, oh, and of course, headlining are you guys. Yeah. Of course. Of course. <laughs> 
But, um, you know, I think that, you know, with the Lagos show on Saturday, it's going to be epic because no one has ever done a producer DJ show before. Yeah, that's why I said We are producers. kicking off the artists so and saying Wait, are they going to be producing stuff well, or playing you have, beats? Well, you have to come and find <laughs> like, out. I'm Honestly, excited. I'm looking you guys have to, to come and yeah, find out. Because, definitely. you know, um, I think that it's about time us DJs and producers get the recognition we deserve. Of course. Yes. Um, Particularly yes. producers. Because they usually yes. work behind the scenes. Yes. Obviously, the artists get all the glory and yet they're working really hard. So, mm -hmm. really well, they really need that. to bring their faces out. Like, oh, their names like, are still attached to the glory. No, but you so. need to be recognized. Oh, though. my gosh. No, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> behind the scenes is not so bad. No. 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 You know, I, I think, think that... I think that... Are you saying some producers are ugly? They shouldn't, like... <laughs> no! But have you guys noticed? Have you guys noticed this trend where you know DJs and producers are doing artist songs? You know they're yeah. singing songs to artists. Yeah. So DJs and producers are actually the artists themselves. Yeah, exactly. Yes. You know what do you guys think? It's different, isn't yes. it? It's different. I mean, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So what country are you looking forward to the most? That's a great question. So <laughs> it has to be, I think that's a really interesting. Wait, country or like show? Country. Okay, country. I'm actually looking forward to, I think, Uganda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's I heard Kampala. I heard Kampala is amazing. Why? <laughs> because it's water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so you've heard it from Copy herself Saturday. Is it just invite only or can they well, buy tickets? Okay, or? so basically, there's a number of ways you can. I would love for everyone to come. It's mm -hmm. actually really exciting. It's a free show, but you have to have sort of invite. apply. So okay. you can um, follow at Copy, Copy Takes Africa on Instagram, or you can email tickets at copytakesafrica.com and, um, you know, request your tickets. And, you know, our amazing sponsors, GT Bank, are also giving out free tickets. So follow at GT Bank and at Indani TV. And I hope to see you guys there. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you definitely don't want to miss that. It's taken off. Copy Takes Africa is taken off on Saturday, the 1st of August. <sighs> so we've come to the end of the show. Oh, no. No. Oh, I've had so much fun. I hope you, you guys will have me again. Of no, course. Definitely. You, know, <laughs> definitely. You, you are really a good mix, you know, with us. It's, it's very difficult to get that, you know. know. It, it was just mm. meant to be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we would have done final words, but our studio time is up and they want to kick us out. So, oh. yeah, we got to go. <laughs>so did you like what you just saw i know you did mm -hmm. it's very simple if you want to see more just subscribe to our channel right now